With the NFL Scouting Combine kicking off, draft season is in full tilt. Frank Franchi is getting ready to head up to Indianapolis tomorrow. It's going to be a big week. I know Frank's excited, but the Jaguars have a lot of work to do, Frank. Yeah, they really do. And I think that work starts with free agency. Every, everyone's got a mock out now, right? What's mock? Who's, you, who are you mocking to the Jags? Who are you mocking to the Colts? Who are you mocking? It's hard to really do a mock until you know what was done in free agency, which comes first. But there are some holes. I think the interior of the offensive line has to get better. I think the interior of the defensive line has to get better. For me, those are the two most important spots. But then everyone's talking corner and receiver, so there's some other areas. It starts with free agency, Jamal, but there will be some players very important for them to watch this week, no question. I think you hit that right on the head. It's really hard to get a feeling for what the Jaguars should do or will do in the draft before free agency, and that goes for any team around the NFL. But with the combine yeah. coming before free agency, who are some of the players you think the Jaguars should be keeping an eye on up in Indianapolis this week as those workouts start? Here's the way I think it might go. I think you're going to get your big people in free agency. Now, it doesn't always work that. It's not always that clean. It's not always that black and white. There's always some gray areas in there. But I think you're going to get your big players in free agency. So I don't think Jackson Powers Johnson, the, the center for Oregon, is going to be in play. I think if you took him, then you're, then you're admitting you whiffed on Luke Fortner. And I don't think that's where they are. I think there's still some hope for Luke Fortner. I think they like him. So I don't think you do that. So maybe some of the receivers, I've seen Brian Thomas, Romeo Dunze, if he's there, but I don't think he's going to be uh, two of the receivers. Cooper DeJean, some of the, the cornerbacks. Uh, Terry and Arnold, I think there's going to be some cornerbacks and receivers that the Jags will watch very, very closely. Now, look, it's a seven-round draft, not a two-round draft, so you watch a lot of guys. I think you probably have to address edge. If you don't, I'd love to see him get Jared Verse, but I don't think he's going to be there. But I think you, you have to address edge, cornerback, and receiver in the draft because, in my opinion, you're going to get the big people in free agency. I think you just broke some hearts with the Jackson Powers Johnson stuff because he's already become a little bit of a rock star to a lot of Jaguars fans who have already just made him a fan favorite. Jamal, if you take him, <laughs> you're kind of saying you've whiffed on Luke Fortner, and that's not where they are. They don't believe that. Luke didn't have a good year. We know that. He knows that. Uh, he's got to get a little bigger, stronger. He's got to hold the point of impact a little better. But I don't think they're beyond. I, th I think there's still hope for Luke Fortner. I think Luke Fortner's going to be a good player. I know people don't want to hear that. In my opinion, if you take another center, particularly one in the first round, that means you missed on Fortner, and I don't think they're there yet. So I don't think it's going to be him. That, that, I'm guessing, again, we'll know more after free agency, but I don't think so. All right, Jaguars are going to be looking to add some size maybe to their wide receiver rotation. What about a guy like Keon Coleman from Florida State? I know my Seminoles fans yeah. uh, know a, little, a thing or two about Keon Coleman, but he's a guy that maybe had a lot of hype at one point, yeah. but it seems to have died down. But if he has a big week up in Indianapolis, all of a sudden maybe that 17 conversation doesn't seem that crazy. Yeah, I think that's high for him. For me, I think it's high for Keon. He's a good player. He can be a punt returner. He's got very good hands. He's a big physical receiver, which is what they don't have. A lot of it, too, will depend on what happens with Calvin Ridley, Jamal. I think if Calvin Ridley's on the football team, and does that mean that they that they signed Josh Allen and tagged Calvin? You you know all the all the different possibilities there. But if Calvin Ridley's not on the team, then wide receiver's got to be in play early in the draft. If he is on the team, I still think they'll address wide receiver, but I think it'll be much later.